Well, it's going to be tough to make this transition, but we teased it, so we might as well get to it. Uh, you know, lots uh, lots going on behind the scenes for me. Adam, as it turns out right now in life, I have only like two passions, and I'm driven by two things. It's one, to make this show as big of a success as possible, and uh, seriously, um, there's a reason that we only talk about, well, we talk primarily about WWE, and that's because they've been really, really good to us, and they've been really supportive, and uh, we're working behind the scenes to... Uh, get the show uh, up on a, as big of a platform as possible and uh, WWE I mean my hats off to them as far as setting us up with interviews and there's more in the future uh by the way Caitlin hi let's get Adam set up with some tickets on July 9th please um, yeah let's get that done <laughs> give me give, give me in the world title match come on now uh, that would be awesome man you talk about marking <laughs> out I would mark out huge if uh, if you wound up on TV on uh, WWE <laughs> that'd be awesome um but uh, my other passion in life is, uh, you know, as as you've alluded to on the show, and we've discussed a little bit, is, uh, you know, I used to weigh 420 pounds, completely changed my life. And one of the things that I, you know, do now is uh, I serve kind of as a weight loss advocate. And uh, I'm putting together this uh, really all-encompassing fun program um, with a couple of women. One's a life coach. One is a personal trainer uh, slash nutritionist. Um, and we're putting together just kind of a fun little quirky um, program. Uh Fun and quirky. That's just kind of the theme of my life uh, that nice. uh, we, we really hope is, is going to pay off for people. Um, but the big announcement is uh, CPS, uh, who I work for full time, uh, is really giving me a heck of an opportunity, nay, a hell of an opportunity um, to really kind of share my story on as big of a platform as possible. So um, effective here in the very near future, uh, I'm kind of going to be the uh, fitness guru for CBS DC. Um, I'm going to be writing a lot about my journey, uh, my weight loss, um, what I was able to do believe it or not i did it all without going to the gym once lost 250 pounds going to be writing all about that on uh, cbsdc.com we're going to throw up some videos um do uh, a lot of interviews and and hopefully you know we can make a success of uh, of chuck's journey uh, or whatever the working title is on cbsdc.com and then uh you know go national with it so um you know i'll just be one of those new uh fitness personalities just uh a little Chucky C style, and I'm very much looking forward to that. And uh, hats off to CBS. Thank you for the opportunity. Hey, man, congratulations. I, you, you truly are a weight loss champion. Um, you know, a, a guy, I mean, I read your thing, and you read, it was like nine or 10,000 calories daily. Um, you know, and as, as I've said before, I've seen you eat. And this just isn't, you didn't just get the surgery and just, you know, lose the weight. Like, you are, you are dedicated to keeping it off, and it really is a life change for you. Um, it's something that it's, it's really hard to do to begin with. And there are a lot, not a lot, but there are some people who do it and then they lose it. And I can see it in you. Like you are just driven, you are dedicated and, and, it, and it's straight up truth. This, this is what you're about. And this, this really is a passion for you. And I think it's awesome that, that you've been given this platform an opportunity. So congratulations, man. Uh, I appreciate that, man. And uh, it's it's really a good feeling. And, and you talk about, you know, if you want to talk about a higher power or, you know, purpose in life, I really think that uh, this this could be it for me. Um, just to kind of pay it forward, share the story and, and give hope and, and support to other people that otherwise wouldn't have it. And, uh, you know, you make fun of me for being a midget and, and for being a small guy, but I'd rather be, you know, a small midget, uh, at, at this current weight than, uh, you know, just a short overweight round mound of sound that, uh, couldn't even walk up a flight of stairs. And now I run at a minimum 25 flights a day while I'm at work, uh, just to, just to maintain the weight loss. You know, it's, it's little tips and tricks like that, that I'm going to be writing about on, on cbsdc.com and, and certainly throwing a, a lot of, uh, my patented personality on there as well. But, um, uh, I'm I'm just I'm really excited about this and and the and the forthcoming program and and forth and pain man I mean honestly Adam I got this feeling inside of me like in the next six months uh, something great is is literally going to happen and dreams are going to come true and and this program and your friendship and, and support uh, to this uh, jokes aside has has really just meant a whole hell of a lot to me so thank you oh absolutely I mean this was your idea you asked me to do it a couple years ago. Um, we got it, we got it, you know, off the ground and running now and it's been nothing but fun. It's been a learning. I've actually learned a lot of things, um, just about myself throughout this process. Um, you know, I used, I, I told you, I used to run from the media. Like I would literally <laughs> just run. I, I was, I, and you know, when they finally did catch me, I'd have, you know, just what, just pouring off me. I'd be so nervous, you know, and I've gone from, I remember when I was a little kid, I'd be in church and the preacher's talking about, 
you know, God has a calling for your life and uh, whatever that calling is, you know, you, you should do it. And I remember specifically praying for me to not be a preacher because I didn't want to have to talk in front of people. <laughs> you know, here I am doing a radio show. So thank you for, you know, just asking me to be a part of this. And uh, I don't think you've taught me all that much, but we're having a good time anyway. <laughs> I can't be completely nice. It's just not in me. Yeah. I got to throw a little jab. Come let on. Me, let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, size joke met here, but I am your Yoda when it comes to all things media and making you a personality. All right? So uh, you be Luke Skywalker, hashtag nerd, and uh, I'll be Yoda, hashtag littler nerd, and, uh, and, and we'll make a hell of a success of this. But, uh, you know, if Chad Dukes can be a Star Wars nerd, I'm telling you, it's okay to be a nerd. Nerd it out. Are you a nerd? Are you a sci-fi hey. guy? Hey, no, not really. But have yeah, you ever been me. to my Facebook page? Star Wars is on my top five favorite movies. I love Star Wars. Seriously? Love Star Wars, love Indiana I don't know that Indiana Jones is sci-fi, but I love Indiana Jones, love Star Wars, all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Can I ask you a question about Indiana Jones? Did sure. they really need to make Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Did they no. really need to do that? That was no. just that it was wasn't horrible. Good. That was it, it, it it's it's like a pro athlete who has a Hall of Fame career, and then he comes back for one last hurrah and just isn't that good. And it just it downplays what, how good he really was. And I felt like that's what it did to Indiana Jones. Not that this has anything to do with football or wrestling. <laughs> now we're movie critics. But no, I, I didn't <laughs> make that movie at all. It did not contribute positively to that saga whatsoever. I feel the same way about Die Hard 4. And I was a big fan of the Die Hard, but, uh, yeah. you know, whatever the Die Hard with... The fourth, and I don't, I don't even know what the hell clever title they gave it, but that movie is dead to me. That movie is absolutely yeah. dead to me, and so is the uh, Crystal Skull. But hey, I was a huge fan of uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. That, to me, oh, yeah. that was the best in the series, man. Why? Because Sean Connery was in it. And let's face it, Sean Connery is the man. You think about the epitome of all-time great leading actors, and I have no idea how the hell we got on this topic. But <laughs> the Sean guy. Connery, Sean Connery is just the man, dude. Hey, we talk about it all on fourth and page. We got pro wrestling, <laughs> we got football, we got the mailbag and the wild card segment. You never know what's gonna come up. I tell you what, we have is ADD in a bad way. <laughs> oh, by the way, the Miami Heat. This is going to air like four days from now, so it won't even be relevant. But the Miami Heat just won their first world title. So will everyone please leave LeBron James alone? We're going to talk about that now. No, I'm just kidding. We're not. But congrats to the Heat and, my, and uh, LeBron James. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. I got the TV on to my right. Congratulations. And uh, we'll, we'll wrap up the show with a, a quick one minute here. Uh, when I say uh, LeBron James, that hate against him is absolutely unfounded. And I believe if you recall uh, in their previous series, the, uh, the conference finals, uh, everybody had written them off. And, and yet there they were. They were in the freaking conference finals. And they're saying, ooh, the, the Heatles are dead. Well, you know, I mean, you, you got to keep in mind, Chris Bosh was out a lot of these playoffs. Uh, you know, they beat the Celtics. They came back and beat the Pacers without Chris Bosh. The big three was the big two. And, uh, you know, Dwayne Wade, you know, he, he struggled a lot. So it was really LeBron James doing a lot of this. I mean, to me, to me, he passes like Magic Johnson, scores like Kobe Bryant, rebounds like Dennis Rodman, plays defense. He's a little shorter than Akeem Olajuwon, but, you know, he plays great defense. You know, he's the best all-around player I've ever seen. If he gets a couple more rings, he might be the greatest of all time. He's already got to be top 10. As a pro athlete, I mean, you've been in the locker room, and I know that a lot of your teammates have kind of under criticism. Hell, you've been under it yourself during your career for, for some unknown reason. But, I mean, this, this hate against LeBron, unfounded? It just seems unfounded in my book because the guy is a perennial MVP, for God's sakes. Well, I think, I think it all started when he went to Miami – with the decision, with the show, the celebration they had when he went down there. It just it, it wasn't done the best way, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. But I've been rooting for Miami ever since that happened. You know why? Because every, most everybody hates them. And that made me root and love for them. And now that they've won this, I absolutely love it. I love the fact that he did what he wanted that was best for him and just ignored what he was supposed to do, which was stay in Cleveland. He did what he wanted was best for him. And now he's got his first title tonight. I'm pointing at my TV. Just I'm not pointing to random air, just so you know. <laughs> Right over there. It's right over there, guys. Use your imagination. Going um, to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, uh, congratulations to the Miami Heat. Uh, phenomenal thing. And, uh, hey, buddy, let's just say this. If you ever get the Super Bowl trophy, if the Redskins win the Super Bowl trophy, somebody comes up here, they say, hey, you just won the Super Bowl. Where are you going? 
You're going to say, I'm going to record Fourth and Pain. I was going to say Fourth and Pain? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just went off in the background. It does that automatically, by the way. That's cool. Hey, man, uh, we're in overtime, dude. I okay. know that you got to run. Uh, I think that uh, you got uh, date night tonight or something to that effect. The kids are asleep and, uh, you know, the parents are going to go be adults. So go have fun, man. Thank you for uh, thank you for the show. Absolutely. Peace out, home skillet. All right. Thanks for putting up with our weirdness. He's Adam Carricker. I'm Chuck Carroll. Check us out online, fourthandpain.com, on Twitter at Fourth and Pain. His handle is Big Papa Pump94. Mine is the Chuck Carroll. I think that about covers it. I think mean, that's everything. All right, Fourth and Pain, we're out of here.